Hello everyone, it's Dan Can, Daniel Hunt, the People's Realtor. Welcome to the channel. If you enjoy watching home tours and want to be updated on Dallas, Fort Worth, Metroplex real estate, be sure to subscribe. It's another 100 plus <laughs> day here in Texas. Really hot, burning hot, huh, Daniel? It's hot. Um, but we have another hot vlog tour to show you today. The home you're gonna view today is a grand model. We are here in Salina, Texas. This is Prosper ISD. The home you're gonna view today is 4,100 square feet, five bed, five bath, three car garage, this one's going for about 1.3 million as is. It's an amazing steal for what you're gonna see today. 2% tax rate, $42 a month for the HOA. Homes here are starting at about 800,000, go up to about 1.4 mil. Now the home that you're gonna see today is sitting on a 75 foot lot. But they do have in their next phase, which is phase two, and phase three, 60, 70, 100, and 125 foot lots available, okay? So as we enter the home, we're greeted with this off-white brick exterior. We have surround sound speakings, even on surround sound speakers, even on the front patio, seven foot iron and glass accented door. This is also a smart home. Come on now, I'm gonna put, remind me down, put my glasses in my, <laughs> and my glasses here, my glasses and my, my keys there. So as we enter the home, you can see that they have kind of like a seating area here with an office area, but there's so much you can do with this area. I mean, you can customize this however you want. Love the contemporary uh, light fixture that they have there. Um, what I would do with this particular space is I would either have it as an office, as you see here, or really good idea, you could have this as almost like a mini casita, right? Where you could have a bedroom area and nice little small kitchenette. I like that idea, which some people choose to do that because you have entry, you have exit and entry to your backyard, okay? So you can get your backyard oasis, go to the pool, you'll see that towards the end. Huge, uh, farm collier sink. I love these quartz countertops. I mean, plenty of uh, window to let in more than enough natural light. And then straight ahead here, we have a nice little foyer here with our first bath. I love, let me know what you guys think about these quartz countertops. I mean, <laughs> depending on your opinion, I, I love them. Silver, Fixtures, beautiful slate design tile, really high glossed uh, tile for your tub and shower. Chrome fixtures again for your tub. And here is our first official. This is our first official bedroom. Um, if you wanted to use it as an office, you could. But here you have a queen size bed, two, I would say medium sized dressers. Love the board and batten wall design they chose. And I'm definitely a big fan of this light fixture. I love the silver. It's like a silver and uh, glass um, uh, combination kind of with the light fixture. Really good choice for that. And this is one of my favorite. If you watch any of my videos, you know I love a nice little seating area. You can sit here, drink tea, coffee, read a book, put in natural light. To my right, this one actually has a, this comes with a three car garage. We won't go there because that's where the sale associates are at, but you can get it with three car or two car garage. At 1.3, you should be able to get a three car garage, okay? We have wood floor throughout most of the home. Pretty much the whole entire home is wood flooring. And now let's go to the second level to see, we'll view three bedrooms and a really nice entertainment area. Follow me. 
So here we are upstairs. Hey, if you're interested in selling or purchasing a home anywhere in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, be sure to contact me. We would love to assist you. My information is in descriptions. So here we are on the second level. Love this kind of detail. You have a desk um, to, you know, perfect place to do school work for a child. Here we have a linen closet, full bathroom, quartz, white and gray quartz for the vanity, chrome fixtures, design slate tile, uh, night lines design slate tile, and ceramic tile for the tub and shower. And here is another bedroom. This is a queen size bed. This is probably the smallest bedroom on the second level, but really a good, nice, uh, si nice size bedroom. And it feels even larger because you have the 10 foot ceilings in here. So these are about 10 foot ceilings. So it really, really just makes this place feel uh, a lot bigger than what it really is. But really nice size, more enough natural light. Here is our walk-in closet. It's a nice size walk-in closet. Another bedroom, queen size again. You have medium size dresser there. Nice walk-in closet. And this particular bathroom connects to the hallway where we went, where we first came upstairs. There was a hallway there. We're gonna go outside this bedroom so you can actually see exactly what I'm talking about. But it does connect here. You have a door here. That way, if you just wanted to use the sink, the which is quartz and uh, with chrome fixtures, you have your closet here. Nice walk-in closet. I'll let Dan get that as well. And then your water room with your tub and shower, which we'll see that on the other side. Okay. I just wanted you to get the flow of this second level. So I want to come out of this bedroom. Board and batten walls here. So I came up the stairs here. So we come up the stairs here, wrap around to another bedroom, queen size bed, two full dressers, loving the contemporary lighting there. And here we have a larger walk-in closet. You can actually really, you can walk in all the closets, but this one you can tell is a bigger closet than the others we see on the second level. Now, here's my favorite space on the second level. I'm gonna show that one. It's another kind of family area that I'm gonna show here in a minute in, on the second level, which is right above the garage. But this would be the area I'd be hanging out at a lot, right? So much you can do with this space. Poker table, pool table, plenty of seating area, really good ceiling height, loving the life fish that they chose. And hey, I would probably put maybe a bigger TV set, but that's pretty good. That's probably about what, 75? What do you think, Dale? Yeah? 80. Yeah, about 75, 80 TV set. So pretty good uh, TV set, but you can get 100 or even 120 there, no problem. This is a really good space. I mean, totally, you could probably get what, two, four, six, 10 to 12 people in here comfortably, not including, of course, your game room area. Okay? Let me know what you think of this floor plan. I love this floor plan. Uh, so airy, tons of natural light. Oh, so let me show you guys this because this is the area that the bedroom, the last, well, uh, the bedroom I showed you beforehand. This is where you also could come, your guests would, could use the, your water room here. Really high gloss ceramic tile, quartz for the vanity and chrome fixtures. Now this space, a lot you could do with this space. One, if you want to use this as a sixth bedroom, you could do that, right? This is over the garage. If you want this to be even a theater area, right? And you want to use a the theater area for something different, you could do that. Or what a lot of people have opted to do, if you are homeschooling, even though this is a, a plus graded school district, so, you don't, you know, some people may opt to go to proper school, but if you don't, if you want to do private school, 
This is also a perfect area to do that. That's what a lot of people, some people are doing. All right, now let's go downstairs so we can see the primary and the heart of the home. Okay, so let's check out the primary bedroom first and then we'll come out to the heart of the home. Before we enter the primary bedroom, we have another linen closet. Huge primary bedroom. What do you think, guys? Plenty of natural light, really nice seating area. I like this feature. This is wood paneling, high gloss wood paneling. Really gives this room a lot of character. I love that. Very modern, contemporary light fixture. Two full dressers, oversized king bed. You got uh, eight inch baseboards and crown moldings throughout the whole uh, entire ceiling. You have your speakers here, which you guys know, I'm a big fan of speakers. Set the mood when you come into the house, uh, get the ambiance going. Like I said again in the beginning, this is a smart home. And here is our primary bath. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Dual sinks. I love these quartz uh, vanity. I love this, this, this vanity top. Chrome fixtures, of course, both sides. And I can definitely tell this is going to pass the Dan Can test. <laughs> this is a huge, deep soaking tub, right? Chrome fixtures again. There we have our water room. And really nice size shower. Okay. As you can see, you know, I'm 6'1. Um, really nice size shower, double or dual rain heads. And here we have a nice size walk-in closet. More than enough space for two. Let me know what you think. Guys, this is roughly around 1.3 mil. This is a great deal. In Salina, Texas, for what you, what you get, I mean, Salina is on, is on the up and coming. Lots is going on down here. Um, so much in this area. I mean, from catch and release ponds, bike trails, dog trails, I mean, all types of parks. I mean, this is an amazing, amazing area, amazing community. If you want in for more information on this location here in Salina, be sure to contact me again. Like I said, my information descriptions. I mean, where to start, right? <laughs> what do you think, Daniel? I mean, 22 foot ceilings, Loving the contemporary modern light fixture. Let's start off in the kitchen. Six burner, Frigidaire commercial grade gas stove. Frigidaire commercial grade gas stove. I love the tile they chose here for the backsplash. Oversized vent hood. Wood cabinetry, chrome fixtures, glass accents. Oversized Collier sink, okay, with the chrome fixtures. Like I said, I just can't say enough. I love, I love the the course they chose in this model. I mean, every room has its own kind of character, kind of own design, but it's still within the same color scheme. I think they just really did a good job with that. Um, again, modern, really nice modern black light fixtures there. Pantry. And this would be your formal dining or breakfast nook. But if you wanted to, when you came into the home, you could use one of those areas if you wanted to. Right when you came to the home, we made a left. You could use that as a formal dining if you wanted to, because like I said, you can customize it so many different ways. Uh, that's one thing, good thing about Grand Homes. I mean, they, they have a model that you can kind of look over, uh, kind of a blueprint look over, but there's so many customizations you can do. Not all builders allow that, um, but they're almost like a true custom builder, right? More enough space here for eight. I think anything more than that will overpower the space, but you have more seating area here. Love the light fixture they chose. Really good idea with the ship lap that they put along the walls here and kind of give it kind of a farm style feel, but then kind of modernize it with these sconces. I think they did a really good job with that. 
And here's your living area, right? Sliding doors. You kind of want to open up your space. Loving the high gloss wood that they chose for the gas fireplace and the black high gloss tile. Really, really good design. I think, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Again, guys, this is on a 75, 75 foot lot. So 75 foot lot in Salina, in Prosper ISD for 1.3 mil. Uh, RED is 10% earnest money to get your new build started. In phase two right now, contact me as soon as possible because they have about six lots available in phase two. They will be um, uh, starting a phase three as well, but you definitely want to get in as soon as possible. Nice cover seating area. You can put your TV set there. That's a really nice uh, fire and uh, gas fireplace. Plenty of space here too if you uh, have kids, kind of want to come outside and play, or dogs or pets. More than enough space for a pool. Grand Homes does not build pools, however, uh, I can set you up with uh, companies that can actually build you a pool separate from that. So if you do want that in your backyard, we can help you with that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Be sure to subscribe, subscribe. If you've reached this far, definitely subscribe. We're gonna be looking at another home here today, but come back, we'll have that uh, uploaded to the channel after this video. So health, peace, and prosperity to you all. My information is in descriptions. I'll see you next time with the next vlog. Bye-bye.